midnight wars escalated, superstars began to jump ship to the WWE's rival, WCW. Hulk Hogan and WCW, Macho Man, WCW, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash. Oh, that's right, WWF owns, or E owns all those, like, all that footage now, right? Yep. Yeah, for sure, they just had drink beer. Yes. Oh, there's the Rock. He was actually pretty unpopular at first, right? He was incredibly unpopular. Like, they were trying to push him as a face. They pushed him as a generic baby face. Like, current era John Cena. Was that when, he, were... was that when he was Rocky Maivia? Yep. Okay. And then, like, he became big after he turned heel? Well, he, he um, became big because he was able to actually um, talk to the crowd like that. So one of the things, like, they did an analysis of... <laughs> I laugh every time I see that clip of him. Um, I'm going to wait until this clip finishes up. It's hard to think while he's talking. And the world would never be the same okay. again. Um, when he was a face, one of the one of his instructions was to not um, engage the crowd when they were booing him. Okay. So you know, obviously, you like you can't yell back, you can't do anything. He just had to smile and take it. Right. And so eventually, they're like, "Yeah, this isn't working. You're going to be a heel now." And so he had a lot of pent up frustration <laughs> and. So but it was like some also, of that he, some of that like hostility to the audience that was genuine. Yeah, but he was able to work that into his natural charm and charisma. Okay. And so when he would talk back and you know yell back at the crowd, then they got into it. Like he he went from a guy they hated to a guy they loved to hate okay. to a guy they loved. And it's actually funny. It's the same as um, the same story uh, that. Um, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin had. Here, we'll get this Undertaker match started. Didn't he have some really bizarre gimmick where he was like an ice cream man or something? He did. I, 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 Chili I don't McFreeze? Know. I want to say something like Sunday Person Steve Austin. I think it was like Chili Sunday. McFreeze. Oh, God, I think that might be it. If I remember. <laughs> um, ah, Kane. But they were like, yeah, this nice guy persona doesn't work for years. Um... So we're going to do something else. You're a great wrestler. Why don't you join the, um, the, uh, stable with, um, Ted DiBiase. And you'll just be a technical performer. And so he was the ringmaster or taskmaster or something ringmaster, like that? Ringmaster, yeah, ringmaster. Ringmaster. And he never said anything, and he was a great performer, but the fans just were like, okay, well, I'm bored. And then they were like, okay, well, this is your last shot. We really don't know what to do, so just go out there and be an asshole. <laughs> so, Steve, so he's like, okay, I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I'm going to just be a giant dick, spray beer all over people. Okay. Now, this is uh, our first time you've seen Kane in this game. Yes. This is, this is way back when he still had the mask on. Because he was supposed to be, like, horribly disfigured under the mask, right? Yes. Like his face had been burned off. Yep. And if I remember right, I think for a little while after they unmasked him, he did have this, like, makeup like he was all uh, get up like he was scarred. With Darth Undertaker coming out, I see. I believe this was the Ministry. Okay, this is right? Ministry. During, during the Ministry. This, you know what, this, this kind of looks like, I mean, it's a decent costume and everything, but it kind of looks like some sort of, like, alternate, like, version they would make of a character to sell more action figures. I know, yeah. Like, it's really hard to imagine him wearing that to the ring all the time. Because it, it just kind of looks ridiculous. It is a bit much. It's very showy, which has always been his style, but it's, like, I don't know, I figured, like, some bits of it were also understated, you know? Yeah, I mean, he was, like, he was, like, very theatrical and stuff, but he, I mean, like, he'd wear all, you know, dark colors and everything, and having all these glittery jewel stars on his chest doesn't really work. At least not for me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Also, his face appears to be purple now. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, it kind of—it's kind of too 
wizard cloak looking to be. I know, yeah. It reminds me of like Undertaker the old is now a level twelve mage. Did you ever see Megamind? Uh no. Oh, it's that um animated one with Wolf Feral. But it, it looks like Megamind's cape, where he has the super high collar. Just looks like a corny super villain cape. Yeah, I like the more classic sort of, you know, like you know, it's like you know, it's like the the suit and the gloves and So do you think uh, Glenn Jacobs just lost his hair, or like, like, what do you think the deal is? What do you mean? Because he he has he clearly has hair. Oh at yeah. This point. I don't know. Good question. He had to sacrifice like, his hair to regenerate his face. Yeah. Do you think he lost his hair and just <laughs> sacrificed the hair to generate his face? <laughs> to heal all the scars on his face, he had, he he couldn't spare the life force to keep growing hair at the same time. So. Yeah. That or that or he did some moonlighting as a as a luchador and lost a hair match. It's possible. Somebody pointed out to me. Um, actually, it, uh, it was OSW review. Uh, Kane has like, despite being the Undertaker's brother mm -hmm. and feared by pretty much everybody as equally as the Undertaker. Yeah. Pretty much has the opposite of the streak at WrestleMania. Does he? Yeah, he loses like. Very often. I think he has like a 60% loss rate at WrestleMania. Really? I I know like some of the times he's won were like uh, tag matches. Okay. Or team matches. I know there's a tag match he had with, with said, The Undertaker. You said, what, you say wanted. team matches? What's that? You say team uh -huh. matches? Yeah. I swear for a thought, I think, and I thought you said teen matches, and I was... I was yes. I, I, I was getting ready to deactivate the Google Hangouts and <laughs> call the police. Go into the Google Hideouts. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's a t typo from our early IM conversation that people have no context for. But yes. <laughs> no, just don't give them context. <laughs> let let them think Google it's, Hideouts is a it's, thing. It's more. It's you know. It's it's you know standard. You know classic horror. You know what you don't know is what makes it scarier. But okay, now what's now? Are you playing as Kane or? You know, well, of course you're playing as Undertaker. There's a streak. What am I yeah. Doing? Now, what are your objectives? Uh, I have to hit Kane with a choke slam and then three pile drivers. Three pile drivers. Oh shit. Oh. So here's just the old school. Now, what was their backstory supposed to be like? They were brothers, and then like there was a fire, so and Kane was the full. The full backstory is something like they were brothers. Uh, and it was, I believe, The Undertaker who started a fire in right. the family mortuary. Okay, yeah. That ended up killing their parents and, uh, and badly they're... burning Kane. Okay. Uh, Kane is only his half-brother, I think. By different, different, so different fathers? Yeah, because his father is Paul Bearer. Bro, okay. Kane's father is Paul Bearer? Call it Kane's father is Paul Bearer. Okay. Uh, Do they ever say who the Undertaker's is? I don't think so. It, uh, and then, like, they, they always grapple back and forth. Like, usually over who's... Like, every time Kane is there, Kane is almost always the uh, heel. Right, yeah. I, I honest to God can't remember the last time Kane was booked as the good guy. <laughs> now, was Kane's relationship with Katie Vick before or after his face was burned off? It had to have been after, because they were both kids, I think. Yeah, okay, that's true, so yeah. You must have been a pretty charming guy if... It had to have been. Still picking up chicks with no... F like, it just leaves so many questions. Like, <laughs> okay, so if The Undertaker has the biker-taker side, does the Kane, does Kane have one? Does he have a biker a biker Kane persona? I it, it's a valid question. I, I want to see that. Now I want to see that, yeah. Badass biker Kane. I mean, they have corporate Kane, which is the closest they've come to it, but, uh, like, Kane <laughs> still summons... As corporate Kane, he still summons fire. He's still called the devil's favorite demon. So it's, like, not... It's not like he's, uh... Stopped being evil Kane. It's just he's also got a suit. <laughs> it just confuses he's the a, hell out of me. He's a respectably employed spawn of Satan. 
Well, yeah, he's now like the uh, director of operations. Okay. Like right beneath Triple H, who's the COO. So okay, so so so, so Triple H is the Skeletor, and yes, and Kane is, I guess, like I don't know. I I I, I haven't seen that show recently enough to. It's so complicated. The Evil Law, or whatever that chick's name was. I guess. What's that? I don't remember the name. What was the name of that evil chick? Which one? On, on, I don't know. On, on he -Man. I, I, maybe, I'm having flashbacks to the He-Man movie with Dolph Lundgren now. <laughs> oh. That might not be in the same continuity. I haven't checked. <laughs> I'm sure there's a rich narrative tapestry there. Okay. Oh, oh, he's countering. No. Oh, no. Oh, that's a, that's no. A, that's a God cool damn it. That's a cool reversal. It is a cool reversal. I'm, and I'm pretty sure it is accurate to real life. I'm fairly certain that that uh, reversal happened. Okay. Oh, I'm getting two tombstones. This is bullshit. Now, okay, so now, uh, now Paul Bear is currently on Kane's side. Yes. I remember that being the case. I don't really remember why. Uh, I think it's because Kane is his son. Oh, okay. I'm really tempted to fuck the historical objectives and because I need to hit three more pile drivers, and I'm pretty sure he's a yeah, he's about to hit me with a choke slam uh, through my chest. Oh. I don't really want to think about Paul Bearer procreating. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> Great. Why? Why do you have to make everything wrestling I know so creepy? It's 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 not my fault. They they're the one who proposed the idea of Kane being. His they son. started it. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I invented seven either. <laughs> I mean, I. <laughs> You showed me seven. I didn't. You're at least partially responsible. I didn't walk into Vince. I didn't. I didn't wa walk into you know Eric Bishop's office, Bischoff's office, and say, "Hey, what if Dustin Rhodes is like Hellraiser, is like Pinhead from Hellraiser, but also a pedophile?" <laughs> Money right there. What if blank, but also a pedophile? <laughs> it's that's the classic wrestling formula. Oh, this is... <sighs> it, it, it's its only too appropriate that it's during the Undertaker versus Kane match that this Let's Play has taken such a horrific turn, I suppose. Yes. We need to lighten the mood somehow. God damn it, let me old school you. There we go. Huh? I know he has more than one signature move, but I'm not about to pause the game and look it up. Yeah, Kane just started wearing progressively less and less. <laughs> That's true, he did. <laughs> well, we should be. <laughs> we, need, we need to up Kane's sex appeal somehow. <laughs> <laughs> we need to increase our female viewership. Oh man, you were not around for the hilarious uh, Kane Daniel Bryan storyline. That was amazing. I actually just today bought a uh, yeah! WWE licensed shirt. Uh, so it was around that time when Kane was less a uh, less demonic and more like a joke character. Okay. Kane was uh, put into an anger management class with Daniel Bryan, <laughs> who is um. He's just like a shorter wrestler. His gimmick at the time was that he was also a vegan. Uh, <laughs> That's a weird. As he was. That's kind of a weird wrestling gimmick. Yeah, well, they were experimenting with his character. They're like, they didn't really have a clear-cut idea how to handle him. Uh, they tried a lady killer gimmick, which was really fell flat. Uh, then they just tried. Was this like? Uh, was this like? You mean like in the romantic sense, or was he like a literal lady killer, like Kane? No, like a romantic sense. Like <laughs> okay. he had women with him constantly, and like it was really weird because Daniel Bryan's actually very charismatic. He's just clearly not comfortable with a bunch of ladies like hanging off him. Okay. Also, he was shorter than most of them. <laughs> He's like 5'10". Uh, so, then, um, so then they 
they push this arrogance gimmick, which actually ends up working because he had severe in character. He had severe anger problems and would like scream at the fans. Okay. And so he got put into this anger management class with Kane. And so um, he and Kane are like uh, working on stuff like an anger collage. <laughs> anger collage. And, yeah, and having to work through their differences <laughs> verbally. Okay. And their doctor, Doctor Shelby, ah, kept trying. Victory. What's that? Vic you're victorious, I see. Yeah. Okay. But back, the to, doctor, back but, but back to Kane's education. The Doctor Shelby character had them like um, constantly hugging <laughs> Daniel Bryan and Kane to solve their anger issues, and so the shirt is like a like a child drawing of. Kane in his big tights and dumb mask and Daniel Bryan who's like two feet shorter than him yeah. and it says hug it out on it <laughs> with a rainbow eventually they came on they became the uh, tag team champions and were like the most popular tag team for like a year did they hug in the ring a lot or oh yeah all the time like pretty much after every match I I was I I meant that as a joke but <laughs> okay. I know well, <laughs> well, like, they make fun of it. They have Edge come back, I think, like, as a guest GM or something. Okay. And he's like, uh, what the hell's wrong with you? Kane, do you remember who you are? Because you used to be, like, a monster. <laughs> <laughs> you tomb you interrupted my wedding and tombstoned a priest. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah. And he's like, I think you know who the real you is. I think you know what you need to do, and Kane's like, I do. And then they, he just glares at Edge for a while, and then opens his arms, and, and then Edge is like, what are you doing? And Daniel Bryan sneaks up from behind him, and then they, they like, uh, close in on him and wrap Edge up in a hug, and he's, like, super uncomfortable. Uh, to be fair, being hugged by Kane might well be one of the more terrifying things he could do to you. <laughs> so in a way it kind of works. Oh so dumb. Okay. Ah. So All right. The Undertaker's triumphant streak continues. What's next? <laughs>